Hello everybody. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, three functions in Microsoft Excel that are very useful. Um, and um, I'm actually uh, talking about these functions because in the next video, I'm going to use them a lot. Uh, and they're going to be the basis of the next video. So uh, I wanted to talk on about them uh, in here in details and to understand exactly what they do and why we use them. Uh, so that when we use them in the next video, uh, everything is clear uh, to everyone who is watching the video. So um, the three functions are, uh, the first one is called the offset function. And actually I was asked in one of the comments on the previous videos about this function um, to demonstrate it. The offset function, um, it was actually my first time to know about this function, but I, I was pleased to know about it, um, is a very simple function and um, it's a very nice function as well. Um, it says it returns a reference to a range that is a given number of rows and columns from a given reference. It's not not very clear from the um, text or, or the help what it does, but let's let's give it a try. I have here a list of numbers in this table, and I'm gonna pick any reference um, and then put one and two for instance. And let's see what we're get uh, we're gonna get out of this. Uh, what we're getting is 88 and if we see the 76 88 is is not something that's calculated from the 76 actually it is uh, here so what the function did is that it uh, searched for the cell <coughs> i'm sorry um, the cell that is one row and two columns away from this so if you go one row and two columns, you would see that this is the cell that you picked. If, if I change it to 3, it's going to pick 89. If I put negative 3, it's going to go 1 down, 3 to the left, it's going to go to 83. If I put it negative 2, so it's going to negative 2, negative 3, it's going to be 53. So it's pretty nice function actually. You'll see there's some, some other optional um, inputs that you can put. And this is what you see here in square brackets. They are optional inputs that you can, you can put. So you can put what we call the height and the width. The height, if, if let's say I put the height as 2. So it's not going to get only one cell that is at this Play, uh, at this uh, distance, uh, two, um, two rows and three columns, it's going to give you um, uh, th uh, two cells because I'm asking him to give me the height of two. If I ask him to give me a uh, width of two, it's going to give me a square, which is this square. Okay, so I g it gives the, the 53 and goes two by two to give you the distance or, or that, that output. Um, you can do something different. Um, you can use the offset function. Let's say you are gonna pick these. It, it's not one single cell. It's it's an array of three by three, and ask him to go. Let's say five rows and five columns, for instance. Um, so what we're getting is not one single cell. It's gonna go uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, and five. Uh, columns one two three four five and my my original so, so this is gonna be the first cell that it's it's gonna go from and I'm starting with three by three so it's gonna give a three by three which is this so these are zeros because they're empty and it's taking these so you can either start by a, a single cell or by an array go with a single cell get as an array output or with an array get an array output whatever thing you like it's gonna help you with that and we will see in the next video that this this function is pretty helpful we're gonna use it a lot in the next video the next two functions are kind of I, I i personally see them always together which are kind of I, I call them like the twin functions which is the match and index function and and if you search for these two functions in micro in, in online uh, you will find a lot of work being done about these two functions because they are very very powerful especially together and we will use them in the next video a lot and it will we'll see it's it's kind of magical functions to me at least um, so if we see what the match function does it returns the relative position of an item in an array that matches a specific value or a specific order Simply, um, let's say I have, I'm looking for value 104 um, in 
this column i don't know exactly wh what is its position in this um, in this column um, so I'm, I'm giving him the value of 104 this is the lookup value it's, it's kind of like the vlookup you start with the lookup value it's something that i'm looking for um, and here it's it's kind of telling me what is the lookup array which is where is the place that you are looking for this value in um, and i'm gonna go for the exact match because the other two i don't like them um, i usually like the exact match so it's telling me 14 if i look at this um, column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so it's 11, the, so 104 is the 11th place. You can do this for, for, uh, for uh, rows, um, I can use the same thing, match, um, I, I will put the value of 136 in um, this column, so it's going to tell me it's number 6, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so it's it's pretty nice function actually. Um, you can also um, do one other thing that's pretty nice with this function. Um, or, or before that, um, the function has kind of limitation that um, if let's say I take this here and instead of going for one row, I'm going for two rows, it's gonna fail. It never works except for one row or one column. Otherwise, it's not going to work, even if the function is already there. So I, I know that 136 is here, but it gives you the output of one thing. It's a row or a column. Um, if, if what you're looking for is not there, it's going to give you an error, of course. So this is kind of very uh, expected thing. Uh, one nice thing about the function that is uh, kind of trick that you can play with the function is that you can find the uh, location of the cell that is larger than what uh, your reference cell. Let's say I have this column and I have a value of 100 and this is my reference value and I want to know what value is the exactly or, or the first one that's larger than the 100. So I can use the match function, but I need to, to kind of trick the, the function kind of to make what I'm, I'm, I want to do. So uh, I, I leave the lookup value now and I go for the lookup array. I know that this is the array that I'm looking for, um, but and it's giving values. If I put 100 here, it's, it's going to give me, uh, and I go for exact match, it's going to give me uh, nothing nothing is here because it's not here so what i'm gonna do or what i'm looking for is the value that is greater than the reference cell and because i'm going for the bigger than the reference cell you would see that this input that i'm putting here at this part of the function it's falses and trues it's going to be false 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 until it reaches 104 it's going to give you true so i'm not looking for a number i'm looking for a logical expression it's true so using this, it's giving me 11. So it's the 11th cell that's like this. If I put it in instead of this um, 25, it's giving me four because it's 34, one, two, three, and four. <clears throat> so it's kind of trick that you can play with the match function to uh, kind of pick what you are looking for. Um, and you're, you, of course, you can do this for smaller than for whatever value that you're looking for uh, or whatever relation. Um, the index function is kind of giving the, the opposite. Uh, so the index function, it gives you the value of the cell that um, at a specific location. So let's say I have an array like this and I want to know what is in the cell is the, in the third place on the third location. So the third is 26. If I put it like 5, it's going to give me 46. If I make like... Um, 10 it's gonna give me 96 and so on so uh it it, it oh, and and the same thing the same way like the match i can use index for uh rows and in number three is gonna give me 123 which is the third one in the in this row um you can uh, the index function is kind of nice that it can give you um output of uh uh, of a big array it's not one row or one column so i can use index uh, for this um, matrix and ask him for row number two column number three 
and it gives me 13. It's row number um, 2, column number 3, it's 13. So it, it works pretty nicely with, with all these um, inputs. Uh, usually people uh, put match and index together because they do opposite things and we will see in the next video we will do this uh, thing um, pretty much uh, almost the, the, the core of the next video is going to be something like that. Um, so um, sometimes uh, let's let's say I'm, I'm, I'm using the something like this the match function to give this um, location or let's go for for this um, and let's make it 136 so it's giving six so the index would give the the opposite so I can go for index and I go for the same array and um, and I pick the the row number from or the column number from the match function. So it's going to give you 126. So uh, uh, I mean it's it's kind of doing the the opposite thing. Um, you you can get a number from the match and use it for the index, and you can return the original value that you started with. Um, let's make them for the same place. So it's giving 136. Um, so if I make it 136 here and make this get the value of this so if I make it 137 it's gonna give 137 so, so they are they are kind of flipping uh, the, the the output from this and using it to get another thing so um, I hope the the two functions or the three functions are clear now um, and in the next video inshallah we will use them to in kind of chemical engineering application and I'll see you then. Goodbye.